Hi guys, it's David here. Hope you're doing really well. Thought I'd do something a little bit different today because uh, sometimes I, even I get tired of seeing my face every single day. So I thought it would be nice to do something a little bit different. Um, so anybody who suffers from anxiety or BFS um, will probably um, have a little curiosity about cramp. Uh, cramping. Um, now, we all kind of get cramps from time to time. It's not really particularly unusual. You'll see sports people and other people um, who may be running and they'll pull up and they've had a really bad cramp in the hamstring or in the calf um, or wherever it may be. And often people who suffer from BFS uh, when their muscles are twitching are particularly concerned about cramping because they may have a belief and they may have a concern that it has an association with a more degenerative disease. Now, I remember when I did see my neurologist for my first EMG, uh, whether I had cramping and um, I didn't actually, but what I used to get particularly in the early days, is um, sort of pre-cramps. So I think anybody who suffers BFS will probably know this. And that's this is something that's definitely eased up for me. Uh, where, for example, you might stretch your leg and you can feel the cramp coming back on. So you, 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 you move the... You move your leg or your calf back to the position it was before you got the cramp and it stops it. And I still get that with my toes, actually. And I've always had that. And I'm sure any of us will probably take you back to childhood memories of going into swimming pools, getting cramps in your toes when you were swimming. And uh, it's little associations like that that help to remind us that the human body is... Um, you know, it's not infallible. Uh, you know, little things go wrong or we have little, uh, you know, just imagine if our bodies were 100% perfect and everything ticked along tickety-boo all of the time. It just, well, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? But then uh, I think in our nature, we'd probably find something else to complain about. Like, why am I not a bit stronger? Or, you know, why can I not do this? Uh, or, you know, why can I not lift, lift a... 50 kilogram dumbbell over my head um so with cramp fiscillation syndrome it's there it, there really is a lot less known about it but they still look at the same causes and they'll still rule it out um rule anything sinister out obviously via the same neurological channels that you would have if you had muscle twitching or if you had uh, benign fasciculation syndrome so if, um, you know, ultimately my uh, belief and many neurologists also belief um, is that, um, you know, anxiety does play a huge role in our muscles twitching. And when our muscles twitch, it is an over excitability of the nerves. Uh, so one neurologist told me he called it peripheral nerve hyperexcitability because obviously those peripheral nerves just are very, very overly stimulated. Now, it may be through um, my, you know, my last neurologist, his theory was that years and years of constant state of anxiety, your body is just racked by it. The, uh, the volcano of anxiety just explodes and your, your nervous system just starts flapping about uh, are unable to contain all the adrenaline and everything that's been coursing through your veins and the twitching is a bit of a result of that now again I can say after eight years I've definitely seen such a massive result in twitches but I can also tell you that some of the worst cramps and some of the worst twitching I have felt is a, when I have been in my most anxious and depressed periods, and B, also when I've been very dehydrated and run down and haven't been taking care of myself. So I think it's super important to make sure that A, 
you get any anxiety or any sort of psychological issues uh, under control and uh, again you can speak to me regarding that my all my info is on the description uh, alternatively you know more importantly make sure that you get anything ruled out by medical professional first um, and there are many things you can do you can do cbt um, you know if that's if that's something that helps there are medicines out there um, you know in terms of uh, reduction of cramping and pain uh, i know that many people do take pregabalin uh, or Lyrica, I think it's often known, and uh, it was prescribed to me for a while. I found it did make me a little bit sleepy, um, but my best uh, advice these days is to try and be as healthy, uh, exercise and eat as well as possible, um, treat your body with care, and the most important thing also on top of that is to have a, a positive outlook and build up a... Uh, a plan of how you're going to sort of tackle each day or, or tackle each week and uh, I've talked about this previously about getting yourself into a good routine and making yourself feel a bit better having goals and having things to look forward to is so important because if you take things a little bit more you know hour by hour then your outlook is very short and you want to kind of broaden your horizons a bit and start to think about things that you can look at, look forward to like today you know even tiny things like the sun was out and I was like oh my gosh I can almost feel a bit of spring and a bit of summer coming and immediately it took my mind back to warm summers where I was a bit more carefree the brain is really powerful I'll give you an example just imagine yourself now close your eyes and think about sucking on a lemon now do that now and still keep thinking about sucking on a lemon it will make your mouth water if it doesn't i'd be really surprised <laughs> but tell me in the comments if that actually worked but you know if just thinking about sucking on a lemon can make your mouth water just imagine what thinking about the worst case scenario in your life currently can make you feel because the brain is just so exceptionally powerful and that's what we do know let alone what we don't know um, you know who knows what our brains are truly capable of doing so please feel free to drop me a comment hope everyone's having a really good day hope that was helpful give your muscles lots of massages you know keep exercising keep keep yourself hydrated keep uh, keep a positive outlook and it's 10 tips in 10 days i'll do another video tomorrow and perhaps i'll show my face tomorrow um but yeah just trying to keep things a little bit fresh a little bit different so hope you have a great day wherever you are in the country either in england america or any other place look after yourself and i'll speak to you soon guys you take care bye bye